They're one of the many things that make South Florida so unique, and they're a legend among locals. Dozens of vervet monkeys living less than a mile from Fort Lauderdale Hollywood International Airport. These monkeys are native to West Africa, not South Florida. Now a group from Florida Atlantic University is out to study and protect them. Checking in at the park and fly, you can't help but check them out. We're talking about colonies of vervet monkeys that have called this area home for over 80 years. The savannah monkeys, they're used to living in the woodlands of West Africa, but they've adapted and thrived in the mangroves of Dania Beach. They've been here for some time, a lot longer than some of the locals even, so they, they, they do deserve some ounce of respect. Trudging through the mangroves is Florida Atlantic University graduate student Carly Miles, along with two other students and founder of the Dania Beach Vervet Project, Dr. Missy Williams. Several days a week, they're out here conducting research. Miles and fellow graduate student Catherine Coates are studying their vocalization patterns and the signals they send to other members of the group. Right now we're looking at two different like particular grunts. They do to kind of a raspy grunt and a, like a higher pitched grunt and we're trying to find the context of why they use it. So they have the snake alarm call when they see a snapping turtle. So their brain is thinking snake, I guess. We hear bark, a leopard call, which is barking. We think it's around dogs. <laughs> For Coates, this is her second year researching these primates. Next year, she's planning to travel to Africa, a trip that she says will be more rewarding for her research, but also more challenging. This is just a great opportunity to practice all of that, because once you're in Africa, you can't just run over to Walmart, <laughs> you know, and grab <laughs> what you need. So you want to have all your equipment ready. You want to know how long batteries last, all that stuff. Next to the airport, South Florida's vervet monkeys face different threats. People, absolutely people. Uh, sadly, you know, the black market for exotic pets is a hot thing in Florida. It led Dr. Missy Williams, a researcher at FAU, to create the vervet project. Actually hoping to put a I don't know, maybe a 600 square foot enclosure, if we could pull it off. Uh, and then coming out of the enclosure, or they're called sky trails, is what we like to call them. So essentially they're wired enclosed walkways. She's been studying these monkeys since 2014. And recently she was able to secure a lease of three and a half acres of land from Hertz and Park and Fly. I think it's important to realize that we do share the landscape with wild animals, and this is another great example. And they really do provide a good platform to reach out to the community to educate about urban wildlife. She says the area won't be changing at all, and it will still allow students to continue to research the monkeys for years to come. An opportunity for students like Sydney Krush, who is using camera traps to study how often the monkeys hang out in the nearby parking lot. Just kind of one of the more interesting things I found is how they all have their own rankings and it's like a ranking that's inherited. The students hope to have their research published one day. For Dr. Williams, she's hoping to get her enclosure off the ground while planes fly just a few hundred feet overhead. Dr. Williams was part of a team that recently was able to trace the origin of these monkeys. They discovered they escaped a Dania Beach testing facility in the late 1940s, and they settled in the nearby mangroves. As for the Vervet project, Dr. Williams hopes to have the enclosure up by March. If you'd like to learn more or donate, we put information on our website at WPTV.com.